Art conservator Lucia is busy working on the painting by acclaimed Nigerian artist Ben Nwonwu. I'm just going to look at the front and make sure it's evened up. Yeah, that's nice. Perfect. With the damage consolidated on the painted surface, Lucia can turn her attention to repairing the canvas. So the patch repair I'm going to use is a two-part adhesive and I just literally place it over the tear. I have some release paper, which is silicon coated paper, so it won't stick. And then that's where I'm going to put the heat. Uh, the heat from the heater spatula will cause the adhesive to flow, and that happens at a very specific temperature, which is 65 degrees C. And I just move over the surface evenly. I don't want too much heat in any one spot. And because it's not going to stick to this wonderful release paper, it's already tacked onto that surface, so it's holding that tear together. With the canvas stabilised, the protective tissue paper can be removed from the painted surface. The Isinglass is, is water-based adhesive, so I should just be able to take that off with uh, cotton wool, and I'm going to use my favourite solvent, saliva. So I just roll gently on the surface and I should just be able to peel that off. This is one of my favourite moments, cleaning. I'm going to actually work in an area where there's white paint and this area had some dirt and there's a lot of dirt coming off. This painting is a very dirty painting. Oh wow, this is quite dramatic. Quite a dramatic clean. It's a thin resinous varnish. It's quite yellow and it's you can really see on the white how discolored the varnish has made the paint. This is going to look stunning. The blues are gonna come out really blue, the white's crisp. That is a fantastic result. This is going to be a dream of a painting to clean. It's going to look fabulous afterwards. Once cleaned, Lucia needs to apply fresh varnish to protect the painted surface before she can finish repairing the tear. This varnish goes off very quickly, so because it's a synthetic resin and the solvents that are in there are sort of highly volatile. They, they just evaporate really quickly. And the reason that we varnish paintings is because they just look so pretty. It really saturates the colours, brings them out. You know, the Royal Academy always had its varnishing day and the artists, you know, Turner, Constable, the whole lot will go in on varnishing day and the public will be invited to go and watch the masters varnishing their paintings. But you can imagine varnishing one of Constable's landscapes or Turner's fighting Temerera or whatever he put into the Royal Academy. There is an art to varnishing. I actually love it. Probably hasn't looked like this since the artist made the painting. It's very vibrant. It's beautiful. 